here with Brittany Lang, the Rolex rankings number 222, but also a two-time LPGA Tour winner and major champion and mom to be one of your highest finishes last week of the season. How would you assess your time in Indy? I love being in Indy. I've played very well there, had a lot of success. Um, I think it's a nice golf course for me. I like that you can, you can hit driver on a lot of the holes and um, I'm very happy with how I played, been working on a few different things and finally came together. So it gives me some confidence coming into this week. As a mom to be, we've been saying it all season long, but how has this season been for you and what have been some of the challenges as we roll into Texas? Yeah, it's, um, it's actually just starting to affect me these last few weeks. I was really tired early on, which was hard to play being so tired. But once I got over that hump, um, I actually feel fantastic right now. I feel so good. Um, it's a little different being a little bigger with my having more weight in the center. So I've, I've had to narrow my stance a little bit and my swing to get through the ball more. But other than that, I feel great now. Um, and I'm not hitting it that much shorter, maybe like a half club. So I feel pretty good. So I hope to end on a positive note. Have you been getting other advice from all the other moms on tour? Oh yeah, yes and I'm welcoming it. So there's no manual for it. So I'm, I'm asking the girls, how do you travel with these? How do you travel with the baby? It seemed like it'd be very difficult. And, but Drina and Stacy and Britt have all been really helpful. And also yesterday, you had a little bit of a baby shower. What was that experience like with you with uh, all the other LPGA moms and also some fan, uh, friends supporting you as well? It was awesome. It was so cool. Um, Drina and Morgan threw it for me and they're just, they're the best. It was so perfect. And I was so excited about the day. And then Brittany Lincecum surprised me and showed up on my doorstep at about 9 a.m. And I just flipped. We had the most fun. We hung out all day because it's been, she's one of my close friends and it's been sad not having her out here this year. So we hung out and then she went to the baby shower and all my girls were there and it was just, it was really special. Now you're back, you're close to home here in Texas. What is it like being able to close out your season here uh, so close to home? Yeah, it actually works out really nicely. Um, I love playing at home. I love, obviously I get to stay at home only 30 minutes from here, but I love that my, my family and friends can all see me because they don't, they don't usually get to see me throughout the year because we play far away, but it should be fun sleeping in my own bed and just being with some old friends and new friends and family out here and hopefully play well. What is, uh, have you been able to get on the course yet? What are the expectations for the week? You know what, I'm gonna keep them very low because going into last week, my expectations were low and I played fantastic. And I think, uh, you know, just staying calm and setting the bar very low, just, you know, one shot at a time, one hole at a time. Um, but, I, you know, like I said, I've been working on some things. I still wanna play well. My wedges have gotten really uh, good these past few weeks. and. My attitude's been good. There's just a couple things I've been working on. So, you know, I can still compete and hopefully, um, like I said, just play some good golf and uh, keep the expectations low and stay calm. All right, thank you so much, Brittany. Thank you.